Welcome into New York Giants Now by Chat Sports. I'm your host, Marshall Green. Not at the studio yet today. Got a later day also covering the Knicks game. But we have some unfortunate breaking news, so I wanted to get you guys a video. That's why you subscribe, whether we're at the house, whether we're at the studio. We're going to get you guys a video as soon as possible. So go down right now, hit that big red button. We're almost at 19,000 subscribers. If you bleed Giants Blue, you're looking for Giants videos every single day. Hit that sub button and lock us in. The news of the day, though, is about as unfortunate as it could get for the New York football Giants. And it revolves around safety, Xavier McKinney. It was the Giants' bye week, and they found a way to not come out of the bye week healthy. Xavier McKinney tweeted this out earlier this morning and said, During our bye week, I went away to Cabo. While there, I joined a group of guided sightseeing tours on ATVs. Unfortunately, I had an accident and injured my hand. The injury will keep me sidelined for a few weeks. I will do everything I can to get back as quickly as possible so I can contribute to what we're building here in New York. X. So Xavier McKinney is going to be out for multiple weeks with a hand injury. They didn't suffer on the football field. They didn't suffer on the practice field. That he suffered during the bye week on a four-wheeler on a guided trip in Cabo. That's about as unfortunate as it gets for the New York Giants. Xavier McKinney has been awesome all year long. I do want to get your guys' thoughts and opinions early on in the show. Give me your one-word reaction to Xavier McKinney being hurt during the bye week on an ATV. Sounds like a broken hand or a broken wrist. I want to hear from you guys. Let me know your one-word reaction to Xavier McKinney hurting himself on the bye week and now going to be out for a couple of weeks sound off in the comment section shit that the f word like wtf this is this is brutal xavier mckinney has arguably been the giants if not the best the second best player on the defense this year you got him dexter lawrence leonard williams has been good adoree jackson has been good but now you're going to be out no Xavier McKinney for the next couple of weeks. Luckily, you play the Texans this week and the Lions next week. So hopefully, he only misses a couple of weeks. And by a couple, I mean two because you got the Cowboys in three weeks. You need Xavier McKinney to play the Cowboys if you want to have a shot at actually beating the Dallas Cowboys on Thanksgiving. Now you're going to have to have guys like Jason Pinnock, who hasn't played all that much, and Dane Belton. Who's played really well, honestly. The well, I think the fourth round pick out of Iowa earlier this year. He's been really good for the Giants. But now you're going to need those guys to step up. Maybe we see some Landon Collins a little bit at safety now. I mean, I expect it to be Dane. But we go back to those two safety sets. We were running a lot of three safety sets early on. And I'm just at a loss for words, man. It just sometimes seems like this team is freaking cursed. Xavier McKinney has been awesome this year. And now he's going to be out. A guy that started all eight games, has four pass breakups, 38 tackles, two tackles for loss, one forced fumble, a sack. Like, he has been Mr. Do-It-All for the New York football. I got something on my face right here. I'm just, I'm out of, I'm out of control. I'm upset. I mean, I'm trying not to be too upset. Because, look, shit happens, no doubt about it. But, I... Never did I think I was going to be doing a video on Monday morning following the bye, and Xavier McKinney is going to be out for multiple weeks. Can you get by without him against the Houston Texans? You're freaking better. Can you get by the Detroit Lions? They look good against the Packers, but the Packers suck. So you better win those two games. If not, the target and the scrutiny for Xavier McKinney is only going to heat up. I mean... This is as bad as it gets, guys. Uh, if unlucky was a team sometimes, it, it would be the New York football Giants. Ugh. Trying not to overreact too much because, look, life happens. Shit happens. Guy was in, enjoying his vacation on the bye week like a lot of players do. He's going on an ATV, probably a little reckless. Sure. Is it out of line to go on an ATV? 
Probably not. I mean, they're not safe. I mean, but I can't be mad at the guy. Am I upset? 100%. And you know, like when you mess up as a kid and your parents say, I'm not mad. I'm just disappointed. That's kind of how I feel right now with Xavier McKinney. I'm not mad. I'm just disappointed. Look, this Giants defense has been great all year long, and a lot of credit for that goes to Xavier McKinney. Um, I do think it's kind of funny that he tweeted it out, that that's how it got her. He tweeted it out. I I'm kind of at a loss for words right now. It's, oh, the Giants are going to Giants sometimes, fellas. The Giants are going to Giants here they go. Wow, and we I just got a notification that Frank Wright has been fired by the Indianapolis Colts. Wow, different news doesn't really matter to this channel. The Giants are likely going to turn to Dane Belton and Jason Pinnock, who hasn't played, and Landon Collins in McKinney's absence. It's a big loss for New York Giants defense. I think a big question now is with Xavier McKinney being the captain of the defense and the guy that was wearing the green dot on his helmet that got the plays from Week Martindale. Who is that now going to be? Is it going to be Julian Love? Is it going to be Tate Crowder? Is it going to be Jalen, Jalen Smith? Those are the three guys I would expect to be wearing that green dot for New York. I mean, you're going to need J Julian Love. There was talks about him getting a contract extension this week. You want to earn more money than you probably thought you could make two days ago? Come out and be the best defensive back on the Giants this week. Show us that... We don't really notice Xavier McKinney's loss. And I know that's a tall task. Julian Love is great. He's no X-Man, no Xavier McKinney. But, man, I just want everyone in the comments right now. I know you're probably mad. I'm mad. I'm disappointed. I'm upset. I'm, I can't even control my emotions right now. You guys know who I am. I ride or die and bleed Giants blue. Well, let's all just type X in the comments section. Because whatever emotion you're feeling right now, it doesn't freaking matter. We need him back on the football field as soon as possible. Type X for Xavier McKenney in the comment section right now so we can wish him a speedy recovery. Let's get him back as soon as possible. I'll read one more time what he said. During our bye week, I went away to Cabo. While there, I joined a group of guided sightseeing tours on ATVs. Unfortunately, I had an accident and injured my hand. The injury will keep me sidelined for a few weeks. I will do everything I can to get back as quick as possible so I can contribute to what we're building here in New York. X. Type those X's to wish Xavier McKinney a speedy and quick recovery because we freaking need him. We need him out there. Unfortunate news. You never want to experience a, an injury during the bye week. And that happened for the Giants. Oh. I'm flustered. I am flustered. News of the day. Xavier McKinney's hurt. Hurt himself on vacation. Riding a four-wheeler in Cabo. Shit happens. Got to get our head out. Eyes on the prize. It's about the Houston Texans this week. Type X if you to wish Xavier McKinney some love. And wish them a speedy recovery. As always, I appreciate everybody that makes New York Giants now part of their day every single day. Not the studio. Going to head up there in a little bit. Got a late day with the Knicks playing the Timberwolves at 9.15 tonight. If you made it this far in the video, that means you're a real one. Go ahead and drop a real one down in the comments section right now.